What's up, everybody? Um, here we are again. Great Saturday morning. Um, turn this down a little bit. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing very well. Um, it seems like MS wants to try to attack my mind and make me all crazy and anxious about things. It's not that I haven't been through this before, but you know, you go through things. But you just gotta get up and keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep telling him as no, sorry, I'm not gonna do this. I would do it my way. I would do it the way that, that God made me. Um and push on and, and, and show how strong you are. Because like in my book, in some of my blogs, I've said that no matter what, there's always somebody watching you. Um what I mean by that is not the creepy way, like some peeping tom guy or whatever. But there's always a child or, or someone in your household or family or friends. They're watching. I remember one time, I, uh, I I go to the gym six days a week. But sometimes when I we used to walk, I used to walk up my front door and walk past my neighbor's house. They actually noticed when I stopped walking and got mad because now I'm driving. Like, really, you just thought we were, were driving instead of walking? I was like, look, it's a win for me no matter what. But anyway, they noticed I didn't think that my neighbors noticed me walking down the street, but I guess who wouldn't notice a big Puerto Rican dude walking down the street? You know, it's kind of suspicious. <laughs> Whatever. That's my humor, sorry. Um, but people see you. And see, the thing about that is that every year we have a, a, a block get together, block party, whatever you call it. Um, they all know me. They all know that, that I came from a hospice. They all know that I had to relearn to walk. I had to relearn to talk and all those stuff. That's why I still sound kind of uh, like I'm. Some way I said I sound like I'm drunk. Um, they notice. People notice. People see what you do. They notice when you're in a bad mood. They notice when you're in a good mood. But they'll notice more of your good moods than you're in your bad because they're like they're they're sitting there. I guarantee they're sitting there thinking this person has so much to be uh, uh, down for, and she's happy or he's happy. Why? And whatever your reasons are, like mine is, is the Lord Jesus Christ. But I mean, I do this for my son. I love you, son. If you ever see this, when you see this, um, uh, I do this for them. I get up and, and all that because and, and people. I heard something. People. I heard someone say something once, and people have, um, that I've met have, have, have uh, put more onto this. Is you can't be a good husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, unless you take care of you. How can I be good for my son? How can I be good for, say, my roommate Jackie Joy if I'm not good to myself? So what that means is I go to the gym, I work out, and yes, I work out very, very hard, and I make jokes about being Mr. January, MS January 2016, and I'll be captain sexy body and all this. I make all that. Those the jokes. What I go for is because I want to be healthy, because I'm going to be 39 here. And when I turn 56, 70, 60, 70, 80, I want to be there for my son. I want to be there. I want to be, no, I'm, I don't want to be the type that's all bent over and crooked and because I'm too old to do anything. I don't want to be that person. So I'm going to get up and I'm going to do my thing. So I want you guys to get up and do your thing, however you do it. Like I said, if, even if it's just doing a wrist movement, um, and hands, spirit fingers, um, whatever just do what makes you happy but most importantly just remember this smile have a good time find your funny as I say all right find what makes you happy then go run towards it all right guys be really good um, I really hope to see like you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and and, and comment and and uh, share this video and, and just people they need to know that they're worth it everybody's worth it everybody Everybody, because everybody makes a mistake, but everybody has another chance to wake up and make it right again. Don't count people out, and that's the problem. We always count someone out. Well, that person's too bad; they can't make it. Well, how do you know? The person can turn around. I was a horrible person ten years ago. Horrible. All I cared about was money and women. That's all I cared about. Now I, I am one hundred percent opposite with this. I care about the Lord Jesus Christ, and I care about. My roommate, I care about helping as I can with MS, his horrible disease. I care about being the best, best, best father I can be. 
know, yeah, he's on the other side of the United States, but best like I can be. I'm going to be there. All right? So, all you guys out there who think you're not worth it, you're worth it. It might not seem like it. The world might be against you, but that's exactly what they want you to think. Show that world that's against you that you're worth it. You're worth it. Take care, guys.